What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Level 4. In this video we are going to show you how you can replace your noisy fan on your Voxy Lab. Uh, if you have a fan that's really noisy like this one, I'll let you have a quick listen to it to see how noisy it really is. So it might not sound too loud in the video but when everything is quiet and you know it's sort of night time you can really hear how loud these fans are so we're going to switch this one out and we're going to put in a Winson fan so I'm just going to show you how you can do that and just talk you through the step by step bits you need to do when you are replacing it please make sure that the first thing you do is turn the power off make sure it is unplugged before you even try to attempt to do this there are two screws, main screws, on the back holding the fan casing on. So as you can see here, I'm showing you exactly where they are. They're not very long. One of them holds it on the left-hand side, and one of them holds it to the moving bracket on the middle, as you can see here. Once you've wound those out, just be careful and not to drop them into the belt rail, and you will be away. So there you go. So that's what you need to do. And once you've done that, as you can see, they're just there and just there. Now you should be able to remove the outer casing and just let it hang down. We're going to move around to the other side and show you what it looks like. So as you can see here, that is now exposing the fan. You cannot take this off by the connection wise. You will have to undo these two screws. So there is one either side. There isn't even four holding this in guys. There is only two opposites. So the best thing to do is just remove those. Just getting yourself a Phillips screwdriver and taking those off once they're loose they should come out pretty easy we just have another one to do at the bottom here so as I said once you've taken those off the fan is pretty much released now that the fan is away from uh, the main case in itself you can should just be able to pull it out it should be quite easy to do just I would take it out sort of the cable side first I'll just show you how to do that they're a little bit tricky so you just bear with us so once you've done that that is pretty much the main housing on that fan there there is another cable that goes in there as well so you won't be able to move that out of the way you will need to cut this cable off so that, as I said there isn't an actual connection to do this you will have to cut the cable off but when I say that, please make sure, I know I've already told you already, please make sure your device is unplugged. So we just need to take some snips, cut the cable. Make sure you cut it closer to the fan so you've still got a little bit left over to play with. So if you do mess up, at least you've got a little bit of wire left over. And as you will see, you just have a blackened red cable. We're just going to go grab the Winsome fans. These are pretty inexpensive fix and the fan is so much more quieter, which you will see by the end of the video. And you get four in there. And then the one that is actually in with the motherboard part itself underneath, uh, you will see that you can actually use these fans for under there as well. So you will have some spare ones to do at a later date. So we will show you how to replace that. We're going to be replacing that at a later date. But for now, I'm just going to show you how they come in the packaging. So they're pretty cool. They've got a nice little terminal on them. And the terminal is the same for the one inside the unit. But for this one, we will have to cut the cable or cut the wire in, should I say, and solder them on. But I'll show you how to do that. As you can see, they're exactly the same size. If you want to grab these ones yourself, I will leave a link in the description for you to go purchase them. Once you're happy with the sizing, guys, if you are happy that you know you're happy that it's the right size and you want to go ahead and do it, then we just need to show you how to do that. So just make sure you check the length and the cable in. So you want to kind of cut it the same length as you did the other one, maybe a little bit more to allow for stripping the, of the wires back. When you've done that, as you can see, you will just have to get rid of the piece that you don't need, which is a longer bit. And then you will need to shred the wires at the end. So you might have a device that actually you peels these back quite easily. I just tend to use a Stanley knife or a crafting blade to just be able to peel those back. It's actually quite an easy thing to do. You just need to just chip away at it as you can see here around the edges until it pulls off. 
they're not that hard to do at all and they just should peel off they're quite thin wire so they're not that difficult so what you need to do now is just twist it around so that it becomes sort of one solid wire so you've got something to work with and then we will just show you that you just need to connect it on to the cabling itself so we'll just show you that now as you uh, put it in place you have to just be careful with my um, camera because it likes to focus in and out every now and then if you have got heat shrink that's going to be a great thing to do very inexpensive as well you can get a whole pack of these from eBay and you just need to cut them down enough so that they'll go over the top as you imagine this gets really hot and it will not be great if they are touching inside so a bit of heat shrink is going to go a long way once you've put them on just tie them to each other so you just kind of need to just spin them so that they uh, become one sort of cable um, or one wire should I say and once they are twisted round and you're happy with them holding together that's when we'll have to go grab the solder so you will need uh, a soldering iron and some solder a precise soldering iron is going to be better for you as well we're just going to finish twisting these round and then we'll get on with the soldering Right, so I'm just showing you, you just need to grab yourself some solder wire, just pull off what you need as you, as you will know if you already do electronics, that is actually pretty easy to uh, pull off. So underneath just heat the wire and then just slowly go along with the solder until you are happy that they are bonded together. So we're just going to just show you a bit of that. We are speeding through a little bit of it but you kind of get the gist of the idea of how it is done. So there you go. So once you're happy with that, the next thing we need to do is we need to fold the cable back on itself. So we just need to put that bit that we soldered back on itself there, just so it stays straight. Slide the sleeve over. As you've seen, I already had the sleeve on there in the first place. Don't try to put it on afterwards. It will not happen. And just using the the sort of like the, the edge of the soldering iron, just go around it really lightly. And what that will do, it will heat the heat shrink up and make it shrink down enough until it becomes one solid piece. And then at least you know that those uh, exposed wires are not going to be touching anything when you decide to put it together. Once you have it all completed and you know that it's all held together really well, you just need to flip over and go do the black side. As you see, put the black sleeve over. You just need to twist the cable together or the wires together. And then you just need to use your soldering iron to solder those pieces into place. We'll just go ahead and speed through doing that. And then once you're happy, fold it back over uh, onto the back of itself and then use... There we go, the black heat shrink, hold that over the top, and then just go around with the solder. You can get uh, proper devices that heat up the heat shrink, but a little bit of heat is all it really needs to make it shrink. So uh, I wouldn't if go out and buy all these extra things if you don't need to, just stick with what you have. So there you go. So you just got to make sure you do not burn the cable or anything like that as you're doing it. Once you're happy with that, guys, all you need to do now is we need to move on to putting the fan back into the housing itself so as you see we'll just do it the same way so make sure that the fan is facing the way round that we're showing you just so you know so what the fan blades facing towards and then you just want to pop that in place there you go and then you just need to put your screws in just do those up so there are obviously only two screws holding it in place and that's what we're going to replace the two screws that hold it in. They're absolutely fine. You don't need four in there. The two screws that it comes um, on with, they are absolutely fine and they, they work out really, really well. So you don't really need to worry about those. I'm just going to show you here. Before we go, we're just going to switch on to just give you uh, a, a listen to what it sounds like. So I'm just going to be quiet for one moment. And as you can hear there, it's barely 
even recognisable. You can't even hear the fan running. It's so smooth, so quiet. It's absolutely incredible. So these these um, Winson fans, they're just absolutely amazing. And like I said, so inexpensive fix to buy. And they just look great as well. I mean, the interchanging, they uh, go from a purple and then it goes to sort of like a, a light yellow kind of colour and then it goes to a red and then it fades like to an orange and then it goes into a green but this fan is running right now guys and you cannot hear it can you it's so quiet uh, and then it's running into like a light blue just going to run through the colours that it goes through almost like a white yellow again uh, it does go into this really nice vibrant purple that I do like the blue I like as well also, uh, the purple is coming along now. Here you go. There's the purple. So it looks absolutely fantastic. Guys, remember, all you need to do now is just pop those two screws on the back, the ones we took out on the first part of the video, and then you're well away. You can go and test this out. That will keep it nice and cool, but also keep it quiet for you, especially if you have this in a room uh, where it could be quite loud, and you will not have to worry about the noisy fan anymore. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.